What if we smooch in the Twitch chat? Then we smooch. Let's smooch then. Hi, Aaron Bunny. How are you doing? Huh. That's weird. So my trigger keys still work in the game, but I can't move or press any of the buttons. That's kind of funny. <clears throat> doing sweepy. Okay, that's fair. I'm also doing sweepy. Well, I'm going to take a nap soon. I'll just take a nap because I have work at 6 a.m. So instead, like, I could sleep, but I didn't do much art today. So I, what I'm thinking is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nap for a while, like, a, like an hour or two maybe. And then I'm going to draw, and then I'll go and be ready for work when I can. I don't know. And for now, for work at 6 a.m. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll figure it out. I shouldn't be too. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, that's what I said about yesterday, and then my luck started dying. So I might still have a problem, but maybe my legs would have repaired by then, and I can walk for a long time. Or not. <laughs> it all depends. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. The weird thing is, is that, like, everyone says, like, oh, it's. Like, yesterday was the busy day. Like, oh, it's so busy yesterday. <laughs> Thanks for the love, Aaron. Like, everyone's saying yesterday, oh, this is a busy day because it's Super Bowl or something. And then, like, to me, it felt normal. But my legs really started dying when it was slow either way. I really just needed to sit down because it didn't matter if it was busy or not. The, the main thing is that I'm always walking. <laughs> there is no time where I can just like stand still and rest my legs. Alright, let's... Uh, ha what else have you been up to, Eric? I'm gonna start the game off right now. There you go. I think it was a little too high though. Okay, avoiding work and working. How do you avoid the work? The sad thing is I can't really avoid my work as much as I think I'm... <laughs> as bad as it sounds. Should have the period approach landmark north of Gario's Garden. Yeah. Um... I, 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 it sounds bad, but I tried to find like, okay, what can I exploit from work? Like, what can I do? That makes it easier for me, but you, and I still like I don't get caught or anything. Um, unfortunately, I didn't think of much because it's kind of, it's impossible, kind of, because I I have to always be learning what I'm doing. It could t I could take a long time, but that's not like what I'm going for. I just want to rest, and I can't rest. I went in an hour late today just because I didn't want to go. I don't know. <laughs> I made it up, but ah. Uh, I see, I see. Okay, before we go in, let us upgrade our stuff real quick. I mean, it's morning. I could. I don't want to go an hour late, though. I don't want to get punished when, when I just started. Counter, attack, scope. Longs the invincibility when dashing by 20%. Per fire potential. Focus and shooter. I would like that. I would like shooter power. Hi, Jackie Wags. How you been doing? My hours are somewhat flexible, but ah, screamy. <laughs> I feel that. Oh, hang on. It generates 50% of HP over 60 seconds of combat. Healing frequency increases with higher percentages. Excuse them, moi? I very much love this, and I don't know why I didn't grab it sooner. What the hell? Next time I'll think I'll get some resistances here. Because resistances are always great.
<laughs> you know what? Something else I'm realizing. I'm doing fine just relaxing at home. I see. Anything else you've been up to recently? Uh, I, something I realized too is that I'm not using food items correctly. They like give buffs, which are supposed to help you in combat. But also, no, I'm not going to do that. I've been doing fine so far. Maybe, maybe, maybe like some of those items are like all oh, super great and like they actually make me win all the fights. But I've been winning all the fights anyway without them. So I don't know. And then if I run out, how am I, I have to like walk back to go get them or buy them? I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, I is saying food good. Food is good, but I only use it to heal. I don't know what else I would eat. Here's your thing. Uh, Toho Fest is having a Rivals of Aether tournament, and they didn't include Yuto Ichika SMH. <laughs> they didn't include Yuto, and the, apparently the, um, what's it called? The, uh, hoster or whatever got, like, several DMs asking for <laughs> Yuto to be in the game, including from me. Our snowball leaving the icicle trail changing enemies I think you know what I would want this just so I have a lower cooldown on my stuff because I don't want heat armor really shoot a large snowball what's that do oops that wait well, that's the icicle stuff now. Or is it this one? That's melee. That's a guard. Oh no, that's what that is. Throw art. Oh wait, so this is charge two. I'm thinking it's good. I wonder why would they would get DMs. Yes, I know, because chair wanted us too. <laughs> that's which is fair. However. Uh, funny, okay. Funny. This immunity. I'll grab half four though. What do I spend it on? Not a new move. I don't want to spend it on new moves because they barely do anything for me anyway. Um. I guess I will have to. Get... Oh wait. Ooh. Oh, this costs two though. You know what? I can get all this. Defense, Emerald Tool, Slowdown, and then Regeneration. Done. Chair would send Zoon a keg and permission to use you to... There's... Zoon opens his mailbox to find a pipe bomb, saying the words, Add Yuto to Toho Cannon. What does these words mean? Hit me knows. I'll see if I can join. I don't think I can join, but I'll see if I can. Um, I would like more overload slowdown time. Um, I don't know what to do with fire, honestly. We'll stick with it here, Mind Valley, because this is Dash, right? Yeah, this is Dash. That's one. I have one life. No, that, that was more than one, but I... yeah. Aaron, what do you... okay, what do you think of the Direct? Did you see the Nintendo Direct? Did you even not care about Nintendo because you're not on the Switch? I don't know what your position is on Nintendo. I'll activate that for shits and giggles. Alright. What's a Nintendo? Alright, that makes my point clear. Uh, lots of good games from the Nintendo Direct, but also not not like super great, you know? Uh, everyone's saying like it was super good, but at the same time I'm like, eh, nothing like too exciting. I mean, sure, the Splatoon, I guess, came out. Maybe, maybe my standards are too high for an announcement. So like, there are a lot of games I'm keeping my eye out for. And Splatoon DLC, I'm excited. I haven't played anything on my Switch since a while, maybe because you don't have enough games, huh? Anyway, uh, so lots of games coming out for the Switch. Oh, hi, Chair. Hi, I need- sorry, I needed this distraction for what happened earlier, uh, so I'm gonna play this for a while. <laughs> We're already here. 
So I play Link Between Swords recently. Oh, hey, nice. The remake or the original? Wait. Link Between Worlds. Oh, wait, no, that's a 3DS. I thought I thought Link's Awakening for some reason. Hope you're doing good, Cher. Um, yeah, I'm keeping an eye out on a, a couple of games from Nintendo Direct. And... Yeah, that's about it. Uh, Splatoon and just some games. I want to play that, like, Pong game. The one that has the leaflet character. Because it's like, man. That, that girl cute. It's okay, you'll learn how, about how friendship works more by playing this. It's perfect timing, really. Alright, we'll see. Oh, Leonides. So, was it my imagination? Did I just spot a certain horned girl? Come on, Leah, don't hide. Why is she here? Well, I invited both of you, see? I heard that some things have been somewhat complicated between you two since the raid. Well, you can say that again. I'm still bummed that we had to cancel it. Then Leah has gone for so long, now she's acting all strange. <laughs> yes, I've heard as much. It's all just inherently difficult, you know, since Leah can't talk and explain herself. But does I really need to know what exactly happened? Oh yeah, I mean, it will at least help. Hey, brother. Let me just try and ask Leah a couple of questions, okay? Sure, give her your best shot. Oh boy, question time. Just a no answer. It's 20 questions time, it happens. Did you intentionally leave the raid? Was it something you wanted to do? No, not at all. It come in an accident or something else outside your control. I couldn't reach you for a week. Was that intentional? So in short, all these things that happened are, something, are not something you wanted to happen. Correct. Well, you see? Oh, what about the whole thing with Lucas? What was that about? Mio, please, I'm sure that's even more difficult to answer. Instead, let me ask the most important questions. Leah. Over all this time that you miss us. Oh, she's so cute. Cute moment. This is the moment of all time. Hello. Is that hello me meow? Hello Halloween now? Hello. This is friendship moment. Put my volume higher. <laughs> is this a, is this her theme? I think this is her theme. Emil's theme. <laughs> Better work this out. Okay, yeah, it is her theme, gotcha. Yeah, it sound it sounded like her. But yeah, good times now. Wait. Did you just reconcile with Emil and Chitron again? Oh, that was quicker than I expected. No, might be a bit late, but anyway. Here's a new word for you, finally. Sorry. <laughs> you got it a little too late. Well, I thought it might have helped. Yes, I know, it's too late now. Yes, I am sorry. I <laughs> like he's trying to help, but it always pisses Leia off. It's a little late to apologize now. What happened to the other two, though? I wanted to team up with the green haired dude. Oh well. We're completely above, we can enter the Grand Cruise to the north. So that's three dungeons at once. Okay, well, we're not doing that story wise, but we are, that's the plan. Jeez, that would be harsh. Can you imagine having to do like three dungeons in a sequence? Like, the chair, can you imagine like playing an RPG and going through three dungeons in a short amount of time with barely any major story happening now? Or it happening in it? <clears throat> I'm already. <clears throat> Curse you more in your dungeon design. Oh, my cat, you should have learned. Oh, well, it's not your fault. So, Chair, is this like tear, tear jerking friendship moment, right? But you realize now we have. We, we kind of like disregarded the other two friends we just made last yesterday. 
Oh, Bochi the Rock Ninjoid. God, that's so adorable. I want so badly. I want Bochi so badly. This is the most important choice of the game. Oh, choosing which dungeon to do? I guess because it gives you a certain power. What makes you think it made me cry? Well, considering that you've cried in in uh, March Comes in Like a Lion, in Gurren Lagann, and other stuff. What else did you cry in? Like, it, it's all just friendship motive. People wanting to to reconcile and be together, despite issues. I, I we make fun of you, chair, but honestly, I think that's a, extremely admirable that you like the that you uh, care so much about that kind of stuff because that's not something a lot of people care about. It's like not a lot of people like care about reconciling and making things better and sticking together even when things are rough. Nowadays, it's like anytime someone does something wrong, their their immediate first reaction is to just fucking stab each other in the back. Ready to start the race of the Sodnaz Temple? Okie dokie. So that temple name reminded me of something. Leah, wait, what? Is this just your way first at the end of the race? Hey, that's almost a sentence. Also, you wish. <laughs> we almost got a sentence out. Nice. So, um... Great. Oh, wait, it's here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, oh, I have to stay in this way. No, wait, I don't. That's too many ricochets. I have to shoot it diagonally. Oh, right, I see. So, chair. I have to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I hope my feet don't kill me. However, they will. I know this. Um, I have a few more worker stories that I just got. I noted down if you want to hear. Let me look into my phone again so I can remember. Uh, notes, notes, notes. Here it is. I have it titled Work Events, and I have it saved just so I can like make comics of them later. So at one point, where well, things were cold, or I think things were calming down. Wait, what did I open? Oh, this. So things were calming down in the uh, in the store because it was supposed to be like this big like event with the Super Bowl or something. I forgot. It, it was busy, but then it was starting to calm down. One of the cash cashiers um, w was saying like, "Hey, can I leave early? Because I don't have any customers on my line anymore." And the manager at the time uh, at that shift was like, "No, you can't. No, you can't. I can't let you leave early." And then. I'm pretty sure he did this. This is pretty much sure. We hear him in the radio direct customers that's in his, the manager's line, into the guy who just who just asked to leave. So when he the second he did that, the manager responds with, "Hey, hey, person, uh, other worker, <laughs> hey, um, there's a customer going to your lane." And then, and then the other guy's response is just, "I see that now." Just in this very deadpan voice of being super mad. It was great. What's that do? Oh. Oh. Oh boy, this is gonna get complicated. Do I talk about you at work? I barely can't. I'm, I still can't speak. I still am afraid of... Uh, it goes through walls. Very nice. I don't talk much at work. I only say what's necessary. Everyone like jokes around and stuff. Sometimes like people would would joke around and all that, but I'm just like I don't I don't want to use unnecessary chatter, so I kind of stay silent. I only say things when I need to. So, yes, I am the shy. Um, where am I supposed to? Oh, I see. What I'm supposed to do yeah. All the others uh, joke around a lot, though. Oh. Okay. So that's what that hole does. Um, there was another moment, Cher. Wait, I did it wrong again. God damn it. So th this is kind of... Oh! Oh, right, Cher! Oh, God. So, Cher, you probably don't know how much, like... 
I, I've talked to you before about it, but like the the stuff that we, that happened, that you told me like, um, it really does make me afraid the most. When I was uh, when I was just sweeping, so I you know I sweep every single lane and all like like normal, like I should. Um, but the the problem is that 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 causes the problem that that causes is that. It's kind of it's kind of awkward because like if someone's just browsing through all the different lanes We would run into each other all the time So like So it seems like I don't want to seem like I'm following them or anything It's just what I have to do But this one woman I don't know why she did this It freaked me the hell out I'm just sweeping normally in my own head Just think just you know doing my own thoughts And then all of a sudden she just said Are you following me? And, and like I froze up at that moment because I I was like no I I, I didn't want to make her uncomfortable and now she's saying that and I was super afraid at the moment and she saw how like panicked I immediately was and I had to apologize like being like oh wait no that, that was just a joke I didn't actually mean it follow you I do follow you all the time don't you know that I, I only did follow you except the con the uh, anime manga, any manga con, we, I didn't follow you. <laughs> that, that was the one time I actually left on my own to look for things. And then I got lost and I had to find you guys again. Magnets, oh boy. Bung is the only thing that can't keep Cody away from the chair. <laughs> chair ass. Find me an artist alley and I will love. Oh, I see. Oh boy, things are getting very complicated now. You know, I, I so oh god, what, what were the other? Hang on, I need to see what was my tweet about the other. By the way, I hate Twitter now. Hate it. Hate it so much. I need to see the games. Okay, I need to talk to someone before. Oh my god, everyone's drawing Marina's ass again because of the DLC. Okay. Um, so there's a game that I thought was interesting called... Uh, what was it called? Get, get, get there. Deca Police. That's what it's called. It's like an RPG. Like there's battle systems and stuff, but it... It also seems to be like a detective game because you have to solve crimes. But you also fight things with your friends and it's a simulation but like there's a hacker that's secretly like trapping you inside I'm guessing and stuff um, I don't completely understand but it looks kind of cool and at least somewhat grabs my interest like at least I'm just like huh this you know th this seems somewhat fun you know um, can I shoot it from there yeah I can very nice So, yeah. But, uh, there was something else interesting about that game, too. I, like, it's all futuristic. I, at first I thought of the music of these dungeons. Yeah, me too. I actually do like these. What games... Here. So, I know Hollow... Halloween now. I was just say Halloween. So, I'm assuming you played this game, beaten it, and a big fan. But what other your other games that you play? Like, I want to see what your taste is. I will judge you. Charlie, yes, isn't this dungeon an amazing place? It is quite amazing to see the bottom of the lake like this. So I have to stop myself from staring at it for too long. Oh, he's a true gamer, understanding the art. We're all in a race, after all. Is that all? Huh? What do you mean? We're below a lake and there's water everywhere. I'm supposed to complain about water pressure or something? Oh. Well, you see, it's fine here. Not a natural cave, after all. It's only a temple that's constructed by the ancients. Sure, they have the technology to create a separate circulation of water below a lake. So my suspicion is this belief isn't really compromised. Bleh, this is boring. Leo, <laughs> wait, surely. Wait, are you running ahead while we have these conversations? Okay, enough talking. The race continues. Me trying to distract Chair from speedrunning race. Um, let's see. 
I've been recently playing the last spell some of the play Stardew with Ren. Oh, Stardew. Okay, that's a good choice. I've that that I have played. I've played Animal Crossing. I played Stardew. Uh oh. Oh boy. That is actually pretty dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I can't play Stardew alone. Oh no, I feel that. Like the problem, I would, I would also not want to play Stardew alone. But the problem is, uh, uh, all my friends are busy, including me. So that's something that we can't really do. <laughs> I expected the slime to merge into what a huge one, like King Slime and Dragon Quest. Maybe it could actually happen in, as the final boss. You never know. Oh, we have a choice here. Either this store or this store. Which one should we go to? Up or down? The, the, the door yeah, the door in the top all right that door god damn it i hate you too hi fake jade how are you i was standing near this one so i'm gonna go to this one <laughs> okay no don't agree to it I wish I could experience this game for the first time again. Ah, oh, that you have that feeling too, huh? Yeah. I, I at least I like so what I do is just I, I would play um I would just play another game that's like it. I feel like if people really want to experience the same game twice, I think the best way to do it is just play another game actually. It sounds really dumb, I know, but like <laughs> um but that's how I feel. I feel like if people actually like attempt to play the, like a, another game that's in the same genre that they like, of course, then they would um, they would also like it, you know. What? Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. Not not even like any. I, I was wondering. Yeah, that's what the purple is. You can't even just go there. Like for Mori with me, what made me like I wanted to play a game, obviously that, you know. Oh, that didn't work. That, that made me experience like I played Amori for the first time, and while there, there were mods, uh, oh, right now the Tumblr, Amori community is going for, I'm here for Cody's Temple, shut up, this is a good take. Right now the Amori fandom is experiencing the Undertale AU problem again, where everyone's like wanting to do, you know, AUs, alternate universes, and it's just like, no, it's not good. None of it is good. It's terrible. Stop doing this, please. You're only hurting yourself. And so instead, um, I just, so for Amori, I instead played uh, Endroll, an RPG art maker game that was before Amori, but has the same theme, uh, just a little change and everything. Really good. Made me feel like I'm playing the more again because the story is, you know, dark. It's not the pre well, it is kind of the pre it is actually more depressing. End roll is a lot darker than Amore, so I think the best thing to do when you want to play a game over again is just just play another game that has the same theme. Like if you like puzzle, like Portal or something, well, I guess Portal's kind of hard because you have witty dialogue and good puzzles. But then again, you have witty dialogue in certain other games that aren't puzzles, and if you really want puzzles, you can play Baba as you. As RPG I played before, Cross Kill was like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, okay, man. Okay, cool. I also, I like, like the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 story. Not as much as the first one, but I do like it. I wish it was expanded a little more, though. What am I supposed to do? I need to think. <laughs> Speaking of puzzles, I, I'm stupid. Am I so- oh, wait. No, I'm not supposed to. Oh, freaking- Freak. Oh, wait, I can't even push it over there. I have to stop this one first. Okay, it, it goes out here, because I can't- Yeah. If I can't push it a a after that. 
Minion was kind of bled to me. That's fair. I'm sure a lot of people probably do not like how the game ends or like the, the plot beats in the end. I like what I was going for. I don't like how it turned out somewhat. Like it's fine, but it's not like the greatest. I think, what, what exactly about the ending do you not like? I, I think a lot of people seen the game. Probably it's not like, I don't think what you're saying. Well, unless they play this in play one or something, I don't know. How do I? Hmm. Do I block it with this one? I feel like I have to like block it or something. Oh, it just fell over up. Yeah, kinda. So I guess it's not like the plot points in general. Well, it's just that it feels like it just. Shit. <laughs> I. Great. Okay. Um. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, I gotta take care of something. Okay, I'm back. I'm still gone though, actually. There we go, I'm back now. Hello, Kachito, how are you? I am trying to figure out this puzzle because I am dumb. I feel like I am missing something, maybe? Let's see, I, I solved those two. I already solved the one in the bottom. I can't drag that out of here. I'm good, I saw the wreck. Oh wait, I can't, I can't walk in here. Why can't I walk in here? <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, oh, I already mentioned the first game I wanted to talk about about the direct. The other game was uh, Splatoon DLC, of course. Sea of Stars, okay, Sea of Stars is interesting. Much in State of the Union, oh God. So, State of the Stars is interesting as can you use the mantle to get the pillar on the platform? Um. Well, not this one. Because there's a wall blocking it. There's this, but I don't know how to change it at all. This one takes... This one takes it down here, and if I shoot it with this magnet... It just goes across. So... I meant the lower magnet. This one... That, that works, but I can't just get on it. So what I'm thinking, something very simple here. I'm gonna take this. Maybe I didn't do it right. There you go. Really? That works? <sighs> okay, fine, that works. 
Yay, puzzles. I like puzzles. I, I like Baba as you. I like puzzles, but it takes me, like, I'm dumb, so, like, I... Yeah. There we go. Solved. I can go back if I want to. This is the entrance, right? Yeah, that was the entrance. You never beat Baba as you? I, I got the credits, so I've beaten it, but I haven't finished all the levels. So that door is gonna come... I have to open that door later. So I'm not gonna get that right now. More combat, all right. Squid! Chair, is this how I'm supposed to defeat this enemy? This is working. I'm gonna play for one day, I need to take a swing at it. That Bob is you? Yeah. I liked it. I like the puzzle aspect. I like how people keep creating games on it, like Pong and stuff. So, um, A Sea of Stars. Was that what it was called? Just to make sure. Yeah, Sea of Stars. So that was an RPG. What did Chair send me? Oh, I probably shouldn't say that on stream. I'm doing- Oh no, you said it instead! God damn it! I'm doing very unholy things to you right now. Are you listening to me as you're doing that? SMH, you're such a pervert. And you call me, you call me having that I make mistakes. SMH, I, I don't understand. Alright, uh, Sea of Stars is an RPG. Very cute looking. I like it. It's very nice. However, I have a problem with it. It doesn't seem like it does anything interesting. Graphics wise, it's actually kind of plain in a way. When you think about it. Graphics wise, it seems kind of, kind of normal. It seems kind of dull, like kind of dark colors. And like, I'm okay with when Klonoa did that for some reason in the Wii. I'm okay with that. But, I don't know. It, it doesn't grab any art stuff. Like, when it comes to RPGs, what I, I know I shouldn't really think about this. But the first thing I, I think of is an art style. Like, what art style would this game have? And... It's just kind of a dull pixel aesthetic for some reason, and I'm just kind of like, okay, that's nothing special though. Did you respond to me again? Oh, yes, on stream so I can connect to you better. Interesting, thank you, chair. So that's what I don't like about that RPG, or, or so far, aesthetics-wise. The next thing is, but what I do like is like, it including, uh, it's including, ah, uh, fucking, what's it called? Um, turn-based combat. Or not, not, <laughs> that's every, that's almost every RPG. Uh, action commands in combat, so like Paper Mario, Mario and Luigi, that kind of stuff. It's including that, and that, that that makes me like kind of like, oh, interesting. That's that's kind of weird, but okay. I understand, you know. Um, so with that, I am going to see how that game is, but I'm not expecting it to be like the greatest. I'm kind of expecting it to just be kind of like a. It. <laughs> it should have stayed there. Am I gonna have to? Oh, I see. I have to pull it on every direction. Okay, I see what you want me to do. Oh, fuck! I messed up. I don't know why I did that. There you go. So it has uh, action commands and combat, and I'm interested in that. That's something I am legit interested in. However, it you know has to be good, has a good story, and I don't know if it will have that. So that that's something up in the air. That's something I'm just like I'm like okay, well, hoping that's good. Um, let's see, what's the other game I have on the list that I'm expecting? Omega Strikers. So, I, I don't know why, by the way, the Omega Strikers Twitter is, like, really insane. They've been posting memes and constant, like, jokes and stuff on their, on their account, and it's just, like, really hilarious. So they responded to me just because I mentioned that my, okay, uh, I think they're, I think they're doing a chair moment where they're looking at the comments for, um, 
you know, uh, that, that they're searching on Twitter for their for their name and then, you know, seeing, um, yeah, they're doing the chair moment. Game is cute. I like it. I like what they're, you know, I, I like the idea. Please don't NTR. <laughs> Sure, with the stuff you've been sending me, it feels like you kind of do want me to. Thought of chair moment was when... Was NTR moment? Hang on. I need to get... Okay, I think I need... I know how to do this. Not that way. Not that... Oh, no, wait, that works. This is gonna be pain. This is gonna be painful. I like the concept. It's like wind jammers, but instead of just 1v1, it's multiple players. So it feels more cooperative already at the start. Um, it already seems really fun. Oh, I need to bounce this off here. I like there's like very big. Never mind, I don't have to. There's already there's big like super big waifu designs, so I'm excited for that. Lots of potential. I do want to draw the slime girl. I think she is top tier in every single, every single literal way. Uh, what is this cube thing for? Why is this cube here? I don't understand. I need to grab... Oh, hang on. I think it's to cover this hole. There you go. It's free to play too. So that's something else. It's free to play. So anyone that I know can play it. That also has a Switch. And I I know that it, because it's free, it's going to probably have like battle passes or something like that. I know that's what they're going to do. That's what they always do. So that kind of sucks. I mean, skins and such is going to be, you know, stuck into either paywall or, you know, battle passes kind of thing. And it sucks. Hate when games do that. Battle passes are the new, you know, loot boxes and everything. It's, I guess, slightly better, but still sucks. That's a thing. Um, okay, I need to grab this thing. So... Really? All the way over here? Oh my god. I didn't think of that that was gonna happen. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> what games are you guys excited for after the Direct? If you guys even have a Switch. And if it's like not a Direct, what, what games are you coming are you excited that are coming out period? Because I know the Edna game is coming out. Can I shoot it instead for accuracy? Yeah, I can. Cool. If it's not the direct, tell me a game you're excited for that's coming now. But if like, just let me know if it is something from the direct. So that's it, you know, interesting. Because I like. Get the hell out of here. I like that I don't take damage because they're slimes. for the last spell, Darkest Dungeon 2. Oh, they're making a second one. Okay, I see. Interesting. Ow. It's one down. I'm glad that's so strong. I just watched Direct and I have a Switch, but I don't really play video games. Why would you get a Switch then? <laughs> I don't really bother watching the Direct. Have you at least seen the trailers on the YouTube channel to know what's coming up? Like, that's at least something you would do, right? At least, you not like watch it live, but just watch like the game trailers coming out. Because they're like, there are new games that are coming out by indie developers, so that's what I'm more curious on, you know? 
Did I do this right? I don't think I did this right. What is that cube for? I know there's a Prime 1 remake and New Zelda. Yeah, the news just more of the New Zelda footage. I, I, I'm definitely sure that the new... This was just like a play system I have. I definitely know that the Prime 1 remake is, is just specifically for the people who are like, are sad that Metroid Prime 4 has been delayed or like possibly canceled or something. They're like, hey, it's in development hell. So I'm 100% definitely sure that that is the case. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to write it. I didn't get it. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy that Metroid Dread did well. That is true, yeah. But it's not Metroid Prime, and people are really going to be really excited for Metroid Prime. Unfortunately, it's going to happen at least soon. I hope this remake does well, too. I'm pretty sure it is. If they did well with the Metroid Samus Returns remake, then they're going to do well for... Um, they're gonna they're gonna do well for a prime one. I'm I'm also kind of this is a, just a theory. I wonder if they're also doing Metroid Prime One remake so they could learn what makes what makes Metroid Prime good. So they like had to relearn the game. I, I know that seems kind of dumb, but you'll be surprised when that kind of stuff happens. This puzzle is cool. Yeah, kind of really nice to just like stand on it and kind of walk alongside it. You know, it it kind of reminds me. Oh man, it reminds me of, um, there you go. Oh, <laughs> I see it moves all along the board. And then it stops. You know, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, where like Zelda carries you. And uh, like Zelda literally carries you, um, and, and moves you around because you can't do it yourself. I always find that to be pretty cute. Uh, the last one... I think I have to do this again, don't I? Oh, it can't, because there's a... No, it does! Okay. Oh, hang on! And this is the special key! <laughs> Came back for it. Mark... Wait, this is the room he just- Oh yeah, this is the room he just came by. And we got the key, so we can just go to the, to the one in the bottom. Actually, I don't think I can hit this from here, can I? No. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So I think it's the one that's it's a, it's the one that had the two locked doors. I'm not Met I'm not a Metroid Prime fan. I have the third game because of a friend gave me it. Um, I haven't played it at all. <laughs> So I wouldn't know like the feeling really of Metroid Prime and why like I'm pretty sure it's a good game all around and everything, but yeah, it's just one of those things where it's just like I wouldn't know really. So I just hope people are happy. Oh, you know what's sad? Oh, uh, you know what's really sad? The Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance announcement for the Switch users. Now why that makes me sad? Because I, I like it made my heart jump for a second when they said GBA. Because for a split second, I thought it was going to be like, Oh, and we're all supporting for the first time ever, Mother 3, officially. And of course that never happened. Of course that wouldn't happen, obviously. But there was still that that I, that I moment of being like, Oh my god, are they actually going to do it? And unfortunately, it's not the case. Obviously. But I'm pretty- I, I wasn't looking at live chat, because live chat is usually cancerous with a ton of people just, like, complaining all the time. Um... What's wrong here? Do I have to get the other magnet? Oh, yeah, I can just move it. <laughs> Super simple. And nice. 
fun puzzles. Um, okay, next game I have on the list. Oh, uh, Etrian Odyssey Collection. That was extremely weird for me. I let me tell you this because, god damn. So that game is like, uh, like it's from a DS series of games where you play like this cute girl or something, dungeoning and exploring. It's like this whole strategy or something, whatever. The thing that makes me like just super like oh my god with is that I actually planned to play that on the on a DS emulator at one point. I I was playing and I had the I have the game on like my phone. There you go. I have the game on my phone like ready to go. And it was just like the weirdest thing to see like, well, I guess I'm not doing it on the emulator anymore because it's out it, or not out but it's being made yes ghost trick so that's something i've heard a lot about and i'm also curious that's something that i was in my radar when it came to like i don't know what kind of game it is too but if it's in the style of what i think it is then yeah stop Please, I will tank you if needed. These guys are really weak, actually. There you go. I've played, um... What kind of game is an Errant Bunny? I want to know. Just, like, the, the main idea of what that game is about. Because I know it's, like, kind of detective stuff, but I don't know exactly what it is. And also, this is cute. Anteray Shadow. Um, do we have choices? No, we don't. The store is locked. We do not have a choice in the matter. Our free will is a lie, just like because we're an android. Ah, I see gamer commentary. We don't have- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I can't believe I was made fun of for, like, reading into the game so much. Like, come on. That's what it's about, right? Reading into the game messages and everything. That's what it's all about. Some H people making fun of me. Ghost Trick is a fun, stylish, hard, more mean puzzle game. Okay, puzzle game. So it's kind of so it is like detective stuff or something, right? Um, how do I make the shot go backwards? Ah, that would be how. Wait, what would that do? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I've played um, Hotel Dusk Room 215. So, like, I enjoy... I, I found my enjoyment with that kind of stuff. So, I'm kind of, like, thinking, you know, is Ghost Trick going to be something like it? Because I've seen it a couple of times when looking up Hotel 1 Room uh, 215. What's that do? Oh, I think that's a direction thing, huh? Yeah, there we go. Grand animations for relatively low res. Curious what they'll look like ported. High res definition, my man. Ah, the beauty wonder of how to make a game just even look pretty. That's not where I wanted it to go. Oh my god. There you go. Let's 
Well, that's something I'm gonna be. I'll I'll keep on the lookout if I can afford it. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> I have to process all this first. That goes there, and then I'm assuming it touches this and rolls over here, and then I hit the switch. Okay. Um. I need to put the blocks here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um. I don't think this uh, this was figured out well, huh? Chair, what do you what do you think of this? Is is this considered now a zero out of ten because of this, or or is this still cute game? Or will Maple kill me for saying that? <laughs> I'll put you right there. I'm still doing the unholy thing? Okay, try not to pass out. So, yes! <laughs> there we go. Now there's another key. Surprise Manta Boss fight! I knew it all along. How did I fall from the water? Oh, really? That's too slow? Why are my ice powers always... Oh, always bad? Ow, why did it hit me? There we go. That's some good damage. I'm sad. You know, this is it. This isn't the Splatoon, or not the Splatoon. Uh, Sunshine's Manta Ray fight. Man, I missed that fight. I, I boot up Sunshine after Splatoon three when after that boss fight because it's like, uh, and because like, ugh, it's so good, so surprised. It just took me out of nowhere. Hang on. There's another game I left. Never mind, that's not a game I have anymore. Uh, those are all the games I have for now that I'm, ex that I'm looking forward to on the Switch. Um, Noeen wanted me to do Katamari. We love Katamari, even though we played Reroll, because it's like the better game or something. I would love that. However, I'm good. I, I, I that, that would be like a very last choice for me. You know? Wait, we already beat this room. Oh, wait, can I just say I love the idea of like being having to like shoot the door? It's really, it's really neat. Oh, no, I messed up. Oh, God damn it. I have to do that again. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. Okay. By the way, Pizza Tower is growing strong. I see. Fuck, I fucked that up. Pizza Tower is going strong. Lots of fan art. Very good stuff appearing on the Twitters. Very, very cute. And... Okay, now I opened the door. I thought it was another jump pad I had to go through. There's the fucking one drawing that I love so much. Someone, someone did a fake, uh, like, Pizza Tower level. And introduction, it's like... It's like the last strawberry, like, and it's Madeline like pointing to the mountain. <laughs> it's it's really cute, but also I can totally see that being in the game. I love the art style. It's super goofy, it's and insane at times, uh, but I love it nonetheless. And oh, man, I just I'm, I'm so glad with the fan art. 
I need to go back. I, I don't know if I will perfect the game. I don't know if I'm that, <laughs> that big. Um, I will try though. I, I will try to do something with the game. I feel like Celeste and Mr. Tower are friends. Oh yeah, that's what a lot. Of, yeah, that's what a lot of fan art is doing. Like they're friends. Like they're friends. Oh my god, that worked. I was about to say, I hate that that hurts me. Oh, it's on a time limit. Oh boy. Ah. Right, I need to focus on this part. Okay, I have to do that one in the square first. I did it too soon. Oh, really? It ricocheted? Oh, god damn it. What? Wait. Oh, wait. Was I hitting? Oh, I was hitting it with the thunder. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Same time. Woohoo. Oh, boy. The hell is this? <laughs> SMH chair. Chair misses me very, very much, and I miss him a lot. I miss chair so much. I want to go back to where he is. I don't want to worry about anything anymore. Oh, with him. I felt like I was learning. I felt like I had things to do. I was with friends. I could hang out to relax and rest and have celebrations. And yeah. Uh, I have to remind myself that like the work I'm doing right now, like I, I may suffer with my feet and like it hurts and like, I, you know, taking time to, to work. I have to remember I'm doing this for a reason and that is so I can live with share. Not, well, not live in this house, but like live in that area so I can actually be there and hang out with him and I know it's such a disadvantage I know how unlikely that is like he went to college I did it I did it I'm learning on the fly but I it has to be possible right people have done a few people have managed to do it learning just fine right so it all it takes all it takes is just a, a bit of a courage right uh, are we finding more manta rays? Yeah, we're finding more manta rays. Good thing they don't do a lot of damage. Thank goodness for getting some defenses. I fell in the water. Man, I can take a beating now. I'm so happy I got new armor. Fake hey Jade, how are you feeling about Pizza Tower? Actually, now that you brought it up. Hi, Bubble Roxy, how are you doing? What you been up to? Hope you've been doing well. I probably should have used. Frozen art. 
Oh well. I'm killing you right now. There you go. Cute. Oh, hi, Felly. How are you? It's been a while since I've seen you on Twitch, on chat before. How you been up to? How you been holding up? Die already. Screw you. I don't care about your resistances or anything. I've only seen the memes. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. You should play it. Really fun. Um, I hate that a lot of people are disliking the game just because it has a little secret. I got a scary secret in the title screen if you leave it on long enough. And it's like, sure, but I like it because it shows that the developer wanted to put it in because he felt like it, would, it was funny. I, I know that sounds really weird. I'm playing mobile game, mobile game. So, I, uh, the, I know the app you're talking about. I, I know a lot of people might not like that kind of stuff, like when the game kind of just does designs, just like really silly, like stupid things like that. But at the same time, I, I feel like when a developer puts something in, that has no like it, it's not a way to to entice players or like doing it because that's what other games are doing it or because it does something i feel like that means the developer wanted to put it in because he wanted to you know even if it even if it's really stupid and some people might be off put by it i think that makes the game more special and i feel like it makes it more personal because they wanted to put it in it and it's their game in the end i don't know maybe that's just me I feel like a lot of people have been too stern with game critiques when it comes to things that don't, they don't like in a game. I understand good game design, it, like good game design is overall, it, it is a major thing that matters in the end, but mm, I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's gone off. I think people are too heavy for it. All right, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I was still thinking about it, and then it just solved itself. You're talking about wanting to be with me? Of course, that's my intention, Che. I really want to be with you. It has to happen. It has to work. Puzzle master. <laughs> yes, that's totally my intention. I knew it. I knew it all along. When did I get this model? Uh, a couple of days ago. Um... Oh, I need a cube there. A couple of days ago, there was a tweet. Yeah, it was like this week. In the beginning of this week, I got it. Dude, I have to be quick on this. Oh boy. Okay. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, I fucked up. That was a tweet. They just like, uh, sh they showed off this model and said, like, yeah, anyone can use it. So it's customizable and everything. Okay, one. To... Okay, while that's there, we switch this. Then. There you go. Nice. That's satisfying. All right, with this, we unlock nothing. Where are we going? The door down here. Wait, where am I, actually? I am here. I'm here. Yeah, there's a place over here I haven't been to yet. By the way, how, how have you been, Feli? What you been up to recently? You need to do that key. You need to do that key that you skipped. I am... I think I'm going to where that key is. I'm gonna rely on memory. This is what I'd be doing. I saw this entrance. If it's wrong, I'll walk back and I'll figure it out from there. 
What do you mean you want to fight me again, Manta Ray? Shut up. It was at the top. Was it? Was it here? No, this was a... Wait, oh, right. I think there is... Yeah, here is just a passage. That was part of the room. Oh, wait, here. Yeah, here. Uh, that room is this one. Uh, I unfortunately am... Yeah, I'm looping around. All right, it's fine. How are you doing, by the way, too, Bubba Roxy? Have you seen the Nintendo Direct or anything? Do you have any opinions? I can pause at that point. Okay, so is this room... So I go here. Yeah, I have to go up and then to the left. You have any hot takes? Any hot gamer takes? I saw that some exciting things. I know a lot of people are forgetting about Pikmin. Since that's like that's the one people know the least. Like uh, Zelda, we knew it was happening like so long ago now, but Pikmin was something we haven't even get to see in that much other side than like the uh, the thing. I think the direct was very exciting. The non-professional Octopath speedrun. I'm excited for Octopath too. <laughs> I don't know. I got my level life, so I'm kind of fine with level life. I, I don't need to patch. I play. I played the demo of the first one. Wasn't my thing. Nice. No silk song. Somewhat expected. Oh yeah. Uh, no silk song as usual. No mother, no mother three, no silk song. What's the other mean thing that will never happen? I'm sure they refine Octopath too. I guess, but then again, it'll, it'll, it, ha it has to. Someone will have to tell me something, like be like, you have to play Octopath Traveler two for like this certain thing, okay? Someone has to go and tell me that if that's the case. Here. Have some magnets. The uh, Primo's demo for the first one was pretty intense story. I just kind of, I didn't, I guess you can say like, it, it sounds weird, Roxy, and it, you could feel like I didn't give it a chance, but really the very beginning cutscene of the character I picked immediately was like, turned me off of the game. Cause I felt like, it, it already lost a lot of potential and it, it made me feel disappointed It sounds really weird when I like am always a big forgiver on games and give it a chance But I think I think that was the one time. I'm just like no, I, I, I really I really don't know if this would be even good Well, it would still probably be okay good, but not like super amazing I got my taxes I'm working on making sure I'm not behind on bills anymore. I want I want to not lag on that. Also gain more assets for stream. Oh, see, that's really sweet. I'd like to see again. Anything new on Twitter that appeared? Oh, lots of the fan art. Yeah, fan art, fan art, fan art. People talking about and people talking about <laughs> Xdino of Blade. Oh my god, Exit of Blade, what a... It's gonna be wild, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, nothing else much. The Pod is one of my favorite games, but it's not for everyone, I'll quickly admit. That's fair. The, the thing I was kind of disappointed on, like, I'm not... I'm pr and I'm sure it's not like anything game related even, you know, Roxy. It's just because 
I don't know. Okay, I don't know exactly what character I picked. It's like the night one or something. It's like you flash back to a war scene and it's like tutorial time. It's like, okay, I'm going to fight these regular soldier goons as a tutorial. That seems epic. But then like the characters is like, oh no, you go on ahead to fight like the big bad or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, that's exciting. We're, we're, we're not fighting the, we're not fighting regular goons. We're going to fight like the main boss bad guy or something. Right. And, it, and that made me more excited. Be like, okay, starting off strong fight, fighting like the like the the main like antagonist or whatever but then like the flashback ends and then we're stuck with like fighting these two regular guys we have to pick and i don't know why but just that moment i always say every game has at least one moment that makes me feel something and that moment in, in the demo i don't know why it just made me feel very just empty like it was like it could have had the big setup with fighting like the main bad something very very typical yeah but then it's like, no, just fight these regular two guys in a village, and it's just like, what? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, yeah, I do I do that there easily. Cool. Can't I do that with electricity? Oh no, I can't cuz Wait, no, I can. Oh no, I I need the magnet. I see. I know that sounds really weird, and I understand that maybe my opinion of that not getting the game was uh, too quick and possibly not valid. And I'm just like, yeah, it ain't. It's not. But at the same time, it's like, I don't, I don't it, The feeling was super strong that it made me just not want to keep playing the demo specifically because of just that one moment. And I feel bad for that. The demo producer's demo is one of the most stable stabable villains ever, so I'm glad I picked that demo because it got me hooked. It also had great lines. I guess maybe it didn't do the same for me, huh? I'm kinda of sad about that. But at the same time, it's still, I, it's not something I'm going to go back to. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just bad like that. Okay, now that that's there, now we can do electricity by putting you... We can't push you that way. You did do all burn extema, which isn't as good. Yeah, that made me feel... Yeah. That's why I'm glad I, like... Little Life, throughout its characters, are all good. Like, there's not one chapter of Little Life that's, like, really bad. All of them have their own unique quirks and, like, themes and... So I, I guess the feeling I'm going for is that when I know Live Alive made me feel like every character was important and good, and Octopath Traveler kind of did, it, it, just, it, just, it just made me feel like it was an inferior Octopath, uh, Live Alive. Which, to be fair, Octopath Traveler is trying to be, like, Live Alive, isn't it? multiple characters with multiple lives, right? That's how it's supposed to feel, right? What's that do? Absolutely nothing. Okay, I think I see what I have to do. Yeah, it seems very inspired. Yeah, it does, huh? It's great, but if they can't even do all the characters justice, then like, why? No, not why. You know, it's, it's a thing that happens. It's not... Well, it is their fault that, no. I, I'm just so soured by that intro. I know, it's like the most petty thing to be sour about, but man! I am sour about that. I apologize. Okay, this magnet is working correctly, so I'll drag that there. I'll put you into position. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um... to drag them back because I realize the magnets aren't in the right position. Okay, they're both fine. Cool. And the worst part is I worked with how one dude's trait is to open log chest, which has the best key in them, so it basically... So it makes them him basic man trick to be in your party always, which kind of sucks. That's sad. The interesting thing is in Live Alive, like that kind of stuff, does it kind of matter? Yeah, the characters in your party do matter when it comes to the dungeons. But the thing is that part of the game is just one chapter and their strength lies with what you use in their chapter normally. And it's so beatable without it. Sure, it's like you're missing out the best stuff, but you're playing with your favorite characters to get your favorite character's gear. Which makes sense, obviously. I wouldn't use all girls SMH. I know you would, Roxy, and so would I. So would I. My, my level of quality depends on if I can use an all girl team. Bonus points if they're all lollies. Alright, I'm putting this here. Ah, uh, it's like a bomb line in Zelda. You know, like a bomb line that like... Oh. What's up, everyone? How is it going? Pretty well on my side. Nods. I'm enjoying this entirely bug-free dungeon. Well, and there's underwater themed. Bugs wouldn't really fit in here. Oh, that's right. Only lots of fish. Fish are okay. I know Chair is not going to like this dungeon. Well, and those plop thingies. They're, too, they're not too bad either. Pretty fun to punch into them. <laughs> the disgusted face. I, I want to get uh, like the images of Leah's reactions because they're great. They're amazing. But your name is even an Octopath reference, which I constantly forgot. I see. Just saying you want to use girls? Yes, I just want to use girls. I want to use girls. So all those enemies are wave themed, right? So this mean wave is, on, is the element of, of fish and blob? It's supposed to relate to water, but in, that, but in an abstract way. You got waves and water, and a lot of other things as well. I, for one, am just glad it doesn't include bugs for once. Leo, wait. Yes, yes, we get it, Leo. That's what I saw him. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Leo's such a great character, so precious. I really do care for Leo. I think she's... I think this is a very good, like, um... What's it called? A, a very... Oh. What was the word again? I forgot. Uh, very good silent protagonists because it's they're not silent for the sake of being silent. They're silent because like they literally cannot say anything. So they can only say things that... I, I feel like that's a really good idea from the classic trope of a silent protagonist. I, I will give the creators full props that... It's super clever for, for that to be the case. Very, very neat indeed. It's instant kill. Make sure she still has actual personality. Yeah. I know Link in Zelda has his personality too. But it's very rare moments of cutscenes, right? And and here it's all the time, you know. Death. Facial expression says so much. Yes, that's really so many. Like Link has a personality, but as just, like as much as a personality as Leah, definitely not. Nah, no, not at all. Leah's personality shines way brighter, if not more. Get out of the way! I want to hit the magnet! Uh, 
Ah, okay. I missed, god damn it. There we go. Instant kill, very nice. Two and one. Okay, just one. I'm ignoring the fish, right? Mm, oh no! There we go. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm healing. I'm healing. Also, cool boss music built up and Alka seems inspired by how level life plays might go before the fight starts to get you pumped up for it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a must-have. Screw you, I'm killing you both at the same time. <laughs> Man, this elemental uh, cooldown stuff, very coming in handy right here, because normally I would go over Overlord at this point. Took my willpower to not type Megalovania by accident. That's just the that's just the one we're used to, huh? One more attack should get me to Overlord, though, I think. Oh, great, now I have every enemies to deal with. Yep, there it is. Alright, I'm dealing with you guys first, you stupid fish. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm still okay. Ah, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm in red. I just realized. Thank goodness for this defense I got. Oh my goodness. Zap. And... Not yet. Uh. Death. There you go. I don't know about Megalovania being a meme for years. Oh, I'm still fighting. Oh shoot, I thought that was the end. Chef sandwich. Thank you. I I really want to. I and I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But group them all up and. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good feeling. I wasted my SP, you jerks. Don't move away from my attack. Wait, hang on, can I do... Oh, that didn't do as a lot of damage. Looked cool though. I hate that that gets rid of my SP, I'm so mad. You know what, you get special treatment today. You son of a bitch. Get over here. I saw I'm gonna recover from near release Undertale discourse. Oh god, when Undertale came out, everyone in Undertale is the last game that caused the internet to explode uh, with discussion and and anything. Like when FNAF came out and then Undertale, it was a internet historical event basically. And I don't think anything like that will happen again. 
unless something really big happens uh there's never going to be a game where something that big happens where everyone is talking about it i don't have a key i have a key <laughs> really that's stupid What's this? We get the power to... Talk mode activated. We have the power to... Become Cole from Infamous and use the shock mode at any time. That's an interesting sound. I like the sound effects. They determine different things. Fire is obviously like this. Like this kind of deep, but like this flaming thing. Ice is... It's kind of like magic in a way. I think ice is like... It sounds like something from Wizards on a 1. And then shock is... It's like drums. Because I think that's how it feels like to get shocked. It's like that sound effect. That's really interesting. Alright. Uh, we have 42 <laughs> child points uh, left over in this one, so let's see what to grab. Oh, actually, let's wait until there's music, so that way there's something playing as I go through that. Haha, <laughs> that's satisfying. Okay, so let's use our child per porn points to, I'm, I'm, I'm running that joke to the ground, but I, it's funny, to me at least. I'll take defense, I'll take attack, and focus. So there is dash art. I don't normally use dash arts, they're just not as effective. Let's do melee. Uh, Tesla twist, attack with the series of multiple fast spins within a small radius. Hit a single enemy into the air, followed up by a lightning strike. That sounds badass. Homing with shoot an array of small homing projectiles. Throw a projectile that creates a delayed lightning bolt, damaging everything around it. Both are really good. I'm gonna check the end goal. And I'm gonna buy 10%, 20%, and another 10%. Okay, so my goal is there. Okay, I see. Jolt resistance would be nice. Status men. Increases recovery speed from all negative status controls by 13%. Not something that comes up a lot, honestly. Shooter increase shooting attack. Um, honestly, not a lot of interesting things here. Oh, increasing movement speed? Oh, actually? Mmm, that's actually... Mm, okay. I like that. And dashes by 40%. I... Okay, hang on. I like those. Is that in fire and ice, too? Uh, this That's melee, I think. Yeah, that's guard. So, is this here as well? It's not. Okay, hang on. I want to grab those. Let's do shoot and array small and home projectiles. Let's do that one first. Let's see how that goes. Shock resistance, uh, focus, we get balance, and then chain builds fire projectile that creates a chain along to four enemies so we'll get hit by lightning bolt or throw a shock ball that will bounce off an enemy, create a spear that emits multiple holding projectiles. I don't know how they look like until I actually use it. Get threat. Belongs to the invincibility when dashing by 20%. That looks, that is interesting. I don't like to grab that. Wait, here's the other thing is, I I probably should have asked this a lot earlier in myself and maybe the game talked to me. Wait, hang on. There's nothing here. Oh. Uh, hold over skill, see what it does. Branches. Ah. I was thinking like if I like if I switch to ice, will I not gain these benefits? 
But I think they all, all, they all are attached. I think. I'm not sure. Jeez, what's over in this lane? Wave, shock, defense, wave armor, shock armor. I think to an image. You only gain those stats for that element. Dang, that sucks. Okay, so I might be I might be in shock for range damage then. Cause uh, not like being able to move more and like uh, dash without losing my my aim. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. No regeneration in this one though. Which time? Block one attack and stop time for everything but yourself? Excuse me? Oh, that's a guard arc, though. Oh, man. Half of natural bonuses. Okay. I like this idea. I don't know how long that time stop is, but I like the idea of just blocking an attack and, then t and stopping time for a second to do damage. Um, okay. SP Check the other guard art Oh slow time I guess yeah, that would be a good demo see how that works Aside from that, I don't think I see anything else I would want Ooh scope seems nice, but I need to get a dash art and I'm not too excited for that But it is one of those if it, it is part of that one balance that's 10%, this one's 20%, but I have to get through a lot of melee, which I kind of should. Yeah. Twist or this one? Tell still Watts, perform a volley of controllable spin attacks while drawing in enemies to finish up with a powerful whirl. Lock a single enemy into a fast ground combo followed by multiple hit in the air and a strong lightning finisher. I'll take Tesla Waltz. Okay. That's three. I'll do that. And do I have enough? I do have enough. It's only four. Cool. I'll belt this up. I think this is two. Yeah. And then next we'll get the two CP. Alright, cool. I will wait for the others to get their points up. Very, very interesting journey journey so far. Um Oh Oh boy. Oh god. What's this do? Huh, don't know what that does. Okay. Well... Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's now that I have my own bullets, too. I'm... there's no... yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. This is going to take a bit.
Oh, I'm supposed to put this here and then... Oh boy, this is gonna take some time. Can't hit this one. Oh, and then here. Wait. Has to be oh it has to be there and then I mean the, this is kind of a puzzle but it's more this is I would consider this more like a Mario Maker level we have to do things in a certain order and a certain a lot of the time it, it's not much of a puzzle more than just like don't fuck up. <laughs> fast um get out there ah uh, no i didn't have i didn't, I didn't do it in, in time ah that's painful this is pain this is so painful okay there bounce Okay, I have to work fast. There. And then... No! Honestly, timed puzzles are really tough. This one especially, the rest have been fine. Like, all the other, all of the time puzzles have been fine. Just takes a while figuring out the timing. This one is just pain. <laughs> Ow. This one is just pain. There we go. Whew. This is nothing compared to a couple of them. Uh, <laughs> please. I... I am scared. Okay. Oh, that's very small time. I see. Wait, I can get over here. Jellyfish. There you go. I'm already in low hope because of you guys. I hate you too. 
I wish you'd die. Get back here, you jerks. Don't get to live. <laughs> you were crying. Oh, not you, Aaron Bunny. Not you. Ow, I didn't mean to hit myself. Yeah, we're here. Oh, really? All right, fine. My powers now play sandwich. Hey, I bought those for a reason, all right? As far as I'm concerned, they're living their purpose. There you go, almost down. Last one. Come over here, closer, please. There you go. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna kill you straight up because I don't care about stunning you anymore. Never mind, you're avoiding my attacks, of course. There we go. The only time it's not okay to use consumables is Arena. But I. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. <laughs> what about now? Is now a good time to eat consumables? I'll eat well, I'll eat a sandwich right now. Oh, is this a boss? I should have known. Oh no, deadly slime! I'm pretty sure... Oh, wh whoever said that they become a big slime... This is why I didn't say anything. Yeah, had a feeling. This is one of my least favorite bosses. It's so jiggly though. Not the way I wanted to go in that direction. Oh god. Okay, hang on. Wait, oh. I see what I'm supposed to do. Hang on. I am almost dead already. Ow. Wow, that thing hits hard. Oh, there's a switch down there, too. I'm waiting to eat again. Okay, almost at full health this time. Um, let's... No, okay. I don't want to hit it. I'm going to charge it up. Then I want to ricochet. There we go. That did nothing. Because it missed, of course. Okay. Ricochet. And then hit the slimes. Okay, I'm starting to see why this is your least favorite boss. Oh, that didn't do anything. What? Wait, if what if I'm supposed to hit you with the shock, can I just hit it to you? No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm just i I'm just supposed to hit you. Okay, now now I have to hit it with the thing.
There we go. There, there is the fine feeling. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay. What's that? Ah, ooh, that hurt. And build up the stun. I blew that damage. Okay, I think it's... Ow, stop. Ow, jeez. Oh, it's not stunned yet. Hang on. Why wasn't it appearing earlier? That's weird. Uh, okay, yeah, I switched the ice. They all group up, and then... Hey, it kills me, because I didn't heal, and I thought risking it would be better. Whoops. Okay, at least I know what to do now. I don't have to waste so many healing items. Alright, let's go. Fight to the death. Let's at least kill one of them. Oh, I forgot this game fast forward is disgusting. Oh, I still got the thing. It didn't do anything. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. I hate that I have to, like... My goodness. Oh, I didn't even eat the damn thing. I don't know, and they like I'm trying to line up a shot, but it keeps moving. God. I mean, I could. Oh no, I can't hit it straight ahead because he blocks it. Well, I guess the other thing I can do. Straight ahead, and then wherever it's going towards. There you go. It's he still managed to hit me in the end. That's amazing. Very nice. It has to be shocked to him, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, break again. Okay. I need a heal. Thank you very much for waiting. Oh no, the boss does. Ugh, okay, the boss does continue. SMH. Do I have? Here's a question. Do I have any? I, I can't use an item right now, but I, when I can. Do I have an item that lowers. Elemental thing. Resisted shock, wave. Defense. Chili dog, attack, attack. Max HP, max HP, defense, defense. I mean. At this point, I'll take the fence. Oh, I forgot to stand on it. God damn it. Okay. 
We're going all melee here. And I, uh, they only get through one slime. God damn it, who's the enemy? Oh shit, how, how fast they're, they're doing, uh, they're playing Yuto in my, uh, the Toe Fest stream. Okay, I'll do that later. Chair. I know you're listening. I don't know why you don't use chat. Are you too embarrassed? Cute chair, indeed. What? Did I just reflect that? SMH. Get on the stupid button. Really? Okay, I need to heal. Ah, oh, come on! That's mean. Okay. Skip. I'll just wait for all these. Wait, why am I standing on the button if I could just punch it? Man, this... I keep thinking that they want me to do something more, like, more complicated. It's like, I see the visual things, it's like, oh, I have to press the button, and I don't have to. When it when it's broke, I could just do that. I don't know why I was doing it the hard way because I just I just saw the switches and I and I thought I had to do it that way. That's my bad. That's me being dumb. I don't know why it feels like I had to do the more complicated thing instead of the easier thing. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Okay. There you go, that's what I'm supposed to do. They reflect it and then I have to walk to a switch. That's much easier. Okay. I'm gonna shoot two. I wonder if they could do a thing where instead they change like the landscape. So like the, I forgot what, what game did this. I know it was a game that like, it was it was like puzzle like bosses, but so that like as you go through the arena changed, so like. You, so, you know, new stuff will be introduced because you have to try something new. I don't know what game did it, but I know games like that do it so that you're not confused on what to do. I find that a lot simpler, a little bit more. Down. Again. There we go. Okay, last phase. I... How you sandwich this time? I don't need a full sandwich! Oh, uh, look how tiny it is now. Ow, 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 you still hurt? Oh my god, that thing still hurts, okay. Come on. Hey, 
There we go. Ooh, right in the center of the stage, too. Okay, cool. Okay, kind of confused me in the beginning, but not a bad fight. Just one I didn't get what I was supposed to do because I kept overcomplicating it, but whatever. It seemed like a fine fight. All good. And let me guess, we're not done. We are done! Or are we? No, we are done. Oh, look! It's Leah who wanted to wait for us. More like you made us wait. Well, it was close, so we didn't wait that long. Hush, let me have this moment. I actually came in second this time. Johnny was first. Well, I suppose water is sort of my element. Oh, you didn't even need to waste a second calling about water pressure. Well then, let's head to the space spread, Accord. GG's. How long did I take? Oh, that took two hours, exactly. Water rises to the, to the sky, falls upon the earth, flows into the sea. Now this feels weird. <laughs> Ever since the other area, now like getting this lore, or like this like very intricate dialogue. Like now it feels weird. It's like, yeah, this, this is supposed to how it feels like, but like, why was that other place just devoid of anything? Well, it kind of has a hint why, but don't know exactly yet. I think the time for this dungeon is 90 minutes. Great! That makes me feel better. It took double the time. Wait, 60... Eh, 130, half... I took it half an hour later. Uh, ha ha 30 minutes longer. Half an hour longer. Two new shades, your to enter the grand... Take this award for your accomplishments. Circuit Override. Now we have more abilities to unlock. One dungeon completed, two to go. Well then, let's go. I don't feel like staying here too long. Yeah, the constant rain isn't that, that all comfortable, is it? So, we don't even get a fancy animation for this? Oh wait, no, that's not it at all. Starshade. Wait, where's the other... Oh no, I guess it just gets rid of itself automatically and we won't get to see a cute animation for it. SMH. I demand retribution. Give me a cool animation for unlocking neat things. Yeah, some things are more open now, I think. I think. I, I wouldn't know because there's no animation playing. Okay. So we're standing here again. Waiting for our last party member. Can we just wait at the crossing? You agreed on meeting here. Yes, but back then we didn't know that it would be raining non-stop. Can you say anything? No. SMH. How often did they do the race already? I don't see lost count. So they won't have too much energy. Oh, they're doing a race that these guys are running. That's cute. Rain falls, tripping, flowing, cleansing body and soul. <laughs> Nods. Well, yep. Oh, there's a few more. There's these last ones. He did it! Another dungeon finished. Yep, another dungeon crawling. Pretty neat. In fact, I think this is my favorite dungeon so far. Everything on one floor. No chasms fall to? Perfect. Heh. <laughs> the exception of those teleporters sent you straight through the ground. Hate those. Really, we're ready? The rain's getting on my nerves. I swear I saw something over there in the lake. I wanted to watch more secrets so you could just head straight back into this temple. Is there anything over there? Nope. The end of Dungeon Reoccurring characters are great. I don't know, something over there. Alright. Good dungeon all around. Didn't take too long, I think. It's a bit late, isn't it? Right after log out soon. No, oh, same for me. I don't think another dungeon fits in. Oh, you know what? Before we log off, we should drop by the headquarters and say hello to Lynn and the others. Just let them know Leah's back again and ready for action. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's not wait too long then. I'm not sure how much longer they'll be online. 
Let's do that first before we go. I left the stamp there. My bad. No one here? They're probably upstairs. I am alive! Leah, dear, it's good to see you again after all this time. The little runaway has returned. Come back. I've been worried about you. It's been so long. Yeah, what exactly happened to you back then? Well, we couldn't really figure out the details, but it's clear that none of it was Leah's intention. Why, of course not. There wasn't any. There was never any doubt of that. Yeah, the meal. It's jumping to conclusions. She even felt bad about it. I even know she was gonna. Do it. Well, there really wasn't. I was just stubborn. I'm sorry, Leah. That's all right, Emily. I also, I, just so you know, Halloween. I call. I don't know how to pronounce her name all the time, so I just say both Emily or Emil at the same time. I've been rather bummed about the raid, but I'm sure that another opportunity will come up soon enough. So that's all well and great, but one major question remains. What about the hugging of Lucas? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that's cute. Oh my god, that's such an anime moment. Just like a bip, just a, just a bleep and go back to the corner city. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think it's such a big deal out of it. Maybe she just likes to hug people. I think they'd come out of nowhere though. Man, I wish I could have seen that. Hmm. I'd rather like to know how the whole situation was even possible to begin with. Maybe online with no way to contact her, especially over such a long time. Yeah, it's really strange. You know what? You should talk to Ivan about this. Please, that's not how it works. I already care about individual user issues like this. All games have them, so it's not relevant for the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, as long as your profits are flowing, the big shot head of shareholder is happy. As for the record, that's why I'd never introduce you to him. Oh, sorry, but I gotta log out for now. Get back tomorrow so we can continue our dungeon race then. Hmm, a shareholder named Ivan. But <laughs> Neil would say bye wanting to leave. Who's he talking about? Huh? Bye? Oh, yes, of course. Until tomorrow, Leah. Oh, that's great. That's so good stuff. Does it finally meet you in person? Then please be careful when interacting the manifestations of instant matter. The risk is supposed to be low, but accidents can happen. Don't have to tell me. I'm certainly excited to walk in the world you helped create. The sense transmission of the cross gear is very accurate, but it still can't match the real thing. I suppose. Still, I'm worried about you. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'll just have to cope with it. It's all part of the agreement, no? I never expected things to go this way, to be asked to do such things. This is not game design anymore. This is not for the right experience. This is wrong. Well, that's definitely the memories of the other, the real Leah. What was her name again? Was that actually, actually her name was Leah or was this one just Leah? I don't know. Good morning, Leah. Think that anything new that... Oh, so you remembered something. A location, a person, Let's see, everybody told me by number this time. Well, Satoshi, blah, 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 blah. cute Roxy. Yeah, what do you remember about him? Anything hinting to where Satoshi should be located? No. What else could it be? Anything particular regard, though. Actually, there was something that struck me back when we saw him in Vermilion Wasteland. He didn't look like he was an avatar. He was a splitting image of how I remember him from real life. Oh, was that what you saw? Scuthum, he was indeed not an avatar. It's just himself located right in the playground. This is insane. Why would he even be here? You get interrupted by friends, but I want lore! Who needs friends when you have lore? When you complete all dungeons, we'll go to the garden, and maybe we'll see. Start a party and keep going. Well, no time to waste. Not much further until we finally reach Sapphire Ridge. We'll leave it here for today, though. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize that, yeah. 
Things like her nodding animation play when you scroll in. That's interesting. All right. Level 41 to level 44. Still in chapter 8. All right. Well, I'm gonna go rest. Maybe. I'm actually kind of wide awake, so maybe I won't, and I'll stay up, and then I will pass out when I work, and then it'll let me the day off. Who knows? Alright, let's raid Cher. What was that Toe Fest thing again? It's a Toe Fest TO, right? The guy that I, that I DM'd probably. He's streaming, huh? You will find him. I hate this Twitter. I hate this Twitter. I hate this Twitter. I hate this Twitter so so much. Does he have a Twitch? Where is his Twitch? Oh, here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you got two free burgers for doing that. Congratulations. Are they still doing project? What's it loads? Oh yeah, chairs in here. All right, give me a sec. Cool. All right. Uh, until next time. We'll see what continues more of the story. It seems like we're about to have a low point right now. We have just more friendship moments, but soon eventually we'll go back into the, the main story. Will Leah gain her AI rights? Well, what What is this dark project that they keep talking about of regretting making? It's probably the AI. It's definitely the AI thing. Kidnapping, kidnapping people for the AI thing. Will they, will they save the people in the AI and will they have their own place to live? Will any of this be told to our friends? Will our friends still want to be our friends even though we're only, we only live in the video game? Find out. Never. <laughs>